We're an expert of Tomb Looter. Let's freaking go. What is good, you legends? We're back on Vulcan RSPS, one of the biggest and most successful servers out there, guys. Yes, it is a leaks server. So if you're interested in relics and stuff like that, you should definitely go ahead and check out Vulcan, guys. It has so much content to offer. It's crazy. But before we're going to get started with today's episode, I'm going to go ahead and give out a $10 bond to one lucky winner. And all you got to do in order to enter this juicy giveaway is to like this video, be subscribed to my YouTube channel with your post notifications on, and as well comment your Vulcan in-game username. Vulcan episode 11. The grinds will continue today, guys. We're going to do a mix of raiding, combat tasks and skilling guys to go ahead and continue grinding our completionist cape grinds so from our collection logs we can see guys that so far our qa runs have been unsuccessful so i'm going to continue with some expert runs right now to get these ones sorted out of the way i also want to work on maxing the account guys so we're going to definitely work on some skilling and our combat task guys we're going to finish the easy ones and we're going to start working on the medium ones as well. Lots of grinds ahead and now let's jump into some juicy raids. So we're going to get started guys with 300 invocation. That is an expert run and today hopefully we're going to get our first purple in. Um, I was wasting quite some time with not doing expert runs but I'm getting better and better guys. And now quickly to the 2A mechanics. You will have to first go ahead and kill the obelisk and as you can see it's just the warden fight on vulcan that you will have to deal with once the obelisk is down guys you're gonna be able to find yourself the warden that you're gonna kill and by the way guys if you do not want to watch uh, the mechanics of how it works you can just skip this one minute part guys and i'm gonna be showcasing you lots of lootations of what we're gonna be getting but yeah as you can see i'm just using mage then you're gonna go ahead and attack this little crawler right over here guys and this is going to damage the warden in the next phase you'll just have to dodge the floor as good as you can otherwise you're gonna get hit quite hard while attacking the warden with range so that was the reason why we got ourselves a blowpipe as well for this account guys from zulra to be able to do uh, the warden as effective as possible after you've successfully killed the warden the next phase is going to start right here it's absolutely one-to-one -one coded like on osrs perfectly coded guys rating that you can do on vulcan and then we're gonna go ahead and start attacking the warden as you can see all of the mechanics you want to dodge the floor keep attacking but with my leaks for number four perk guys which was a major that i chose uh honestly i can just recommend you choose a major as well uh, these raids are not too difficult now the fireballs or whatever you want to call them are going to spawn guys you will have to kill them but you can see with my one tick mage stuff it goes quite fast make sure to dodge the other hits guys and then you're going to be able to go ahead and attack the warden again just like that boys and i just got smacked for 60 there because of the boulders guys so you gotta pay attention otherwise you're gonna get smoked and here we are at the last hp of the warden and he's gonna go down this is going to be our first run for today's video guys and as i said i'm not gonna be showcasing you the whole runs every single time i'm gonna be focused more on the lootations but there you go Let's see what we're going to get. And it's just going to be some diamond seven minute run, boys. So let's go ahead and grind it out. And here's the next run that is going to be completed. Let's see what we're going to get. And it's going to be some dragon stones only, unfortunately. Next six minute run out of the way. Let's see what the chest is going to give us. Just some raw mantis. Seems like I just can't get a rare drop from TOA on here. All right, let's freaking go, guys. My first rare drop maybe this run is going to be it and no just some dragon stones unfortunately next toa run is out of the way again six minute run that is around the time that i need for an expert run and we are only going to collect some more diamonds for skill in all right guys let's see what we're going to get another run completed we're getting better and better new personal best but yeah just some battle stuffs unfortunately we're getting blessed with icba and we almost had a new personal best right here Let's go ahead and open the next chest, guys. Best of luck to myself. And this time, it's going to be runes. But these we can actually use, so not too bad. Come on, boys. First red drop. Now, make it. Let's make it happen. All these runs, guys. All this focus. Dude, we're getting Snape grass seeds. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright guys, let's see what we're gonna be getting. We're opening another chest and just some for okay we got the ruby of the sun or whatever it's called but nothing crazy if you look at the collection log we are 24 experts run deep and we just can't get a rare it's so freaking unbelievable guys and this is going to be the last run for now guys afterwards i want to go ahead and focus on the combat tasks let's see what it's going to be we're in an expert of tomb looter let's freaking go that is very nice to see guys but unfortunately no purple still even though we're an expert all right 30 out of 35 easy tasks and 23 out of 42 medium tasks let's finish all of the easy tasks and get the grinds going we need to kill Scurious now let's do it and we're here in the private instance guys the scurry is gonna go down in a second his little rat friends are right here but that is not going to stop us come on let's get him down now one more attack is what we're missing and there we go, guys. Another task completed. We are sit a rat. Very nice to see. And our next task is to go ahead and kill a worm. Look at this crazy damage with our sang stuff. That is absolutely fabulous to see. And we're going to finish another combat task. A Scythery encounter, guys. I will take that for sure. And we finished Cozy as well, guys. A Winter Todd task that is going to bring us to KC number 13 of Winter Todd. KC, we're definitely going to work on our skills as well later on. And yeah, this is going to give us three supply crates, uh, four actually, some cash, okay, pages, guys, and some more burned pages. And now, guys, the only tasks that are remaining, as you can see, are our B B row fitted tasks, guys. So these are the ones that we're going to work on right now. And Quick Cutler is out of the way. That is very nice to see. And we finished that task as well. One more we have fit the task to go through. And a slow death has been accomplished as well, guys. And congratulations, you have completed another easy task. And that is going to be our last easy task out of the way, my Gs. Yes, sir. And I actually just realized, guys, we have one more, which is going to be the Ober task that I completely forgot. Uh, which one was it again here? Ober, we will have to kill him while he is immobilized. All right, let's do that. And let's go ahead and immobilize him really quick, guys, and finish him off. And this is going to be our last easy combat achievement. 35 out of the way. Very nice to see. Now we can go ahead and work on our hard ones. And I'm going to go ahead and attack some medium tasks, boys. So, brutal black dragon. It is. Let's get started and kill this one. So, here we are, guys. And we're going to go ahead and kill the brutal black dragon i'm gonna finish this medium task and a couple more guys like many more and then we're gonna get into some skilling as well and this one was actually an easy task i believe but then we're gonna move on to some harder ones now and now we will have to kill the chaos fanatic 10 times let's get straight into the wilderness and that is already a league task completed to defeat the chaos fanatic guys is going to give us 40 points that's our first kc and now we will have to go ahead and kill him 10 times and hopefully no pkr is going to smoke us here with my sang stuff and ancestral and we killed the chaos fanatic 10 times guys but it seems like we are unable to get this task sorted so we're just gonna move on and since it didn't turn green yet guys i'll have to uh, ask why that is but for now we're gonna go and fight the crazy archaeologist 10 times and maybe we're gonna get a drop who knows and some other tasks as well. And here we go, guys. We are going to get our first Crazy Archaeologist kill in. Mage of the Ruins is out of the way. And this is going to give us some League points as well. That is nice to see. Overall, a great, great achievement. And we actually got ourselves the champion for the Crazy Archaeologist. The task is completed. And this is very nice to see. Let's move on, on to some other tasks now, guys. The next task that we're going to attack is the kill the deranged archaeologist 25 times. And there we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and start the grind again. This is going to be KC number 13 already. Now we have 10 more, well, 12 more to go through, guys. And a new collection log entry is in the building, guys. That is very nice to see. 100 collection logs we have finished. That is a beautiful accomplishment for the account for sure. And this is going to be our last KC, guys. And then hopefully it's going to cross out the task. There we go, guys. Deranged Archaeologist Champion. And another combat task has been completed, guys. Hide penetration at the King Black Dragons. Let's go ahead and kill 10 more of these. And this is going to be our last KC, guys. And we have killed the King Black Dragon 
25 times and we actually got ourselves the freaking KBD head. This is so fucking crazy, guys. Let's go, man. And we're hunting Seracnus down for 25 times and we got the newspaper enthusiast combat task completed as well boys and our next task is done as well this is going to be our last kc and hopefully we're gonna get the achievement done let's freaking see and this should be another champion task done that is what i'm talking about 25 Seracnus out of the way and now the skilling grind will begin with construction total level 2022 let's get construction to level 90 as well guys and many other skills too and we're just smashing these mahogany planks in as you can see we are getting ourselves currently 12,000 xp per table guys and with our beautiful slave it's going somewhat okay fast, I would say. And we got ourselves a level 85 out of the way, guys. Finally, let's go ahead and do five more levels. And these are going to be the last tables that we will have to create, guys. And we're soon out of planks as well. But level 90 is finally achieved in construction. That is so good, guys. Let's freaking go. And the next skill we're going to focus on is going to be woodcutting. Quite a boring skill, but we need to get it to level 90. So let's go ahead and start chopping down these magic logs. And there we go, guys. 385 logs chopped down. And soon we're level 89. So two more levels to go through, guys. So many logs done already. And let's freaking go, guys. 500 magic logs out of the way. And we are finally freaking level 90 in woodcutting, guys. And now we're gonna go ahead and get cooking to level 90, guys. We've got a ton of raw sharks that we're gonna be cooking right here at the AFK area that you can always use, guys, for some very juicy XP, boys. And another league task completed to cook 100 sharks, guys. I will freaking take that. That is a beautiful task out of the way and a few more to go through. And we got ourselves a cooking level of 90, guys. That is very nice to see. Another skill out of the way, guys. So we're collecting these 90s. Now onto mining and smithing, I believe, are the ones that we need. And actually, we're going to get the whole road to level 90, guys. Fishing, smithing, and mining will be the skills to get out of the way now and there we go guys just a few more catches and we'll get ourselves level 90 in fishing as well guys at the anglers fastest spot 2k pair fish and there we go guys another level 90 out of the way now quite the difficult skills awaiting us smithing and mining ahead of us guys that's gonna be quite some grind all right guys and here we are guys we're gonna smith our last gold bars with the smithing gauntlets 1000 xp per bar and we are soon going to reach level 90 in smithing as well, guys. That took us quite some time. Half the XP of what we get from the anglers. So, yeah, definitely took ages. Let's go ahead. And there we freaking go. Level 90 in smithing as well achieved. Let's go, boys. And the last skill for today's episode. Level 90 in mining as well out of the way, guys. Oh, my God. I'm so tired, guys. I'm probably going to record the outro tomorrow, I swear to God. We got ourselves a total level of 2,082 out of the way, guys. If we go ahead and check out our combat tasks, we are almost done with all the mediums and the easy ones. We're almost at 30% of our completionist cape grind done. So almost one third is out of the way. That's very nice to see. And also the collection logs, guys, for our raids uh chambers of zarek of course uh, five only done but here guys we did ourselves 25 expert runs total over 60 runs and yeah in two episodes we didn't get anything yet from toa hopefully that is going to change the next episode the grinds will continue i'm looking very much forward to it um and also i wanted to go ahead and check out how many points we're missing but we are missing quite some points for our last tier that's fine guys let's keep the grinds going